Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1141 for July 26th, 2010. The Fagar Countertop Induction Burner. Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com. Offer Gizwiz. Now, get ready for Dick. It's a brand new week, a brand new day, and yes, indeed, a brand new daily hound dog, uh, puppy, what? It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new it's daily gizwiz. Gizwiz, that's it, gizwiz. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gizwiz. The worse your life. Day and a brand new week and a brand new day. The better we sound. It makes its own gravy. The worse your life. Day and a brand new day and a brand new day. The better. Sound. The worse your life, the better we sound. Sound, 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 sound. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show, Dick D. Bartolo. How do you like that? Is, is that me? Yeah. Is that I okay? had the guy. I had the guy on the radio show. This is gave me, what they gave me the idea. The guy who invented our senior. Oh, you know that one? And then he's the current, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy, he's the current announcer on Family Feud. Is Family Feud back again? <laughs> it's the show that wouldn't die. Yeah. So Richard Dawson did it for a long time. Yes. And used that opportunity to kiss every woman on the show. Yes. And Except then one day we had a minister's family and the woman would not let Richard Dawson. <laughs> Good kiss her good and then richard dawson called howard the producer and said never ever book a family of religious people again. really he was yeah, that attached the, to kissing that, to kissing that's what that's what howard felsher told me who was producing the show back then i guess you know i guess it was kind of his trademark right yeah yeah exactly well, you don't have a trade. You have a studio trademark. Like I French kiss all the women who come into the studio. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's why. Oh, jeez. We just lost one. Like sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> it's okay. That was a joke. No, I don't. Do I have a trademark? Well, it could be my plaid socks. I've been wearing the same pair since 1974. I know, and Nat is also holding down the guest list. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? I think it's uh, Peter O'Toole. Who's yes. famous for wearing green socks, right? He, that's all he ever wears is bright green socks. And Van Johnson, when he was around, wore red socks. Really? Yeah. Nothing but. Nothing but. It's like a... It wasn't like junk. one day he wore red socks and that was it. He, he always wore red socks. Always, always. Huh. That's kind of uh, odd, don't you think? It is odd. Well, you, do, you wear, do you have tons and tons of... No, I got nothing. Plaid socks? No, oh, okay. I don't wear plaid socks. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you nuts? Okay. Okay. No. Uh, it's I like would, uh, the, no, I do the Bill, the Bill Gaines thing. When I find a pair of socks I like, which is mainly white socks, I just buy two dozen pair because huh. I, that way, no matter what the laundry does with them. And do like, you find them in Riverside Park? Do you find them in the street? Where yes. do you find them? They are. I, I don't know how I can take them off, put them directly in a laundry basket, Dump the laundry basket into a laundry bag and then get them back from the laundry. And there are socks that don't match. I don't that there understand are either. Uh, you know, and if really, this is a think, universal experience, everybody has this is. experience. So what is happening? I think that there are, I think that laundromats just have one giant machine. No, Dick, no. This, is, this happens to those of us with our own laundry machines. Oh, that is spooky. Same thing. Oh, then it's a conspiracy. I think it's a conspiracy. Which I think they're up. gonna. I think they're gonna fire up the uh, the that big 
Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. The okay. LHC, they're going to finally get that running. And they're going to create that, you know, there was, they create small black holes. And all these socks are going to come at them. That's where they go, yep. Oh. And finally, just as the Earth explodes... Everybody will have matching socks. Finally, and people go. People go. I have matching socks, <laughs> and then it, <laughs> and then it'll be over. It'll be over. <laughs> and the black hole just consumed us. Yes, yes. So, um, uh, well, wait we... a minute, Leah. I'm getting ready in real time for the Nautica, New York City triathlon. You're going to run 26 miles, swim 12, bicycle 800, and and still do the Gizwiz? How do you do it? Uh, uh, no, I'm going to watch them oh. swim. I'm going to watch them run. Yeah. Now, I'm actually, I'm going to do none of that. Do you know what time to triathlon starts? Well, they have to start early. There's a lot to do. Well, what do you consider early? Uh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., I don't know. What oh, time? Okay, okay, yeah. The swim starts, I believe, at 4.50 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see, had it started at 4, I'd be down there because I'd just be getting ready for bed. But 4.50, <laughs> no, that, that's my own time. Uh, yes, they jump in the Hudson River, they swim for a mile, then they uh, get on bikes and they ride up into the Bronx. And then they come back and they leave their bikes and they run through Central Park. It's pretty it's amazing. amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. So this is the Manhattan yeah. Triathlon? Yeah. Uh, yes, the Nautica, New York City Triathlon. is The, the Nautica, name. New York's, wow. Nautica, New so, York City. And you watch this, why? I watch it because I want to see them swimming in the Hudson River. <laughs> and they, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> At least now they've gotten it down so they figure out what are good tides. One year they let them like get in at low tide. What were they thinking? Yeah, I know. I know. So now you could hurt yourself on all those needles. Yeah, exactly. So this time the tide's going out. They're starting up river, swimming down river for a mile. The tide will help them. Um, I think all is well. All okay. is well. That's a relief. Anyway, uh, like a couple of years ago, I did, as a Gadget Warehouse Friday, um, an induction, a little stovetop induction range from a company called Glowmaster. Don't know if the company's around. And we talked about induction, uh, induction cooking never catching on. So I went to uh, one, another one of those pre-holiday gift shows for magazines that need a very long lead time. And I met the people from the company called Fagor, F-A-G-O-R. They make appliances. And they are introducing a little countertop induction burner for under a hundred bucks. So I was talking to the woman. Wow, and I, it's not dead. I, said, I know, I said, I said, you know, induction cooking is so amazing. Induction cooking, it's magnetic. Right. And you, you can turn on an induction. Do you have to uh, use stove. a special pot? You have to, yes. Yeah, it has to be magnetic. So any stainless steel pot, any pot that a magnet will adhere to. Oh, okay. But so any ma anything that's metal. It, Leo, the, the stove could be on. Nothing happens until it senses a magnetic pot because it needs the magnetic pot in, to start cooking. So if you sat on it, Nothing had happened unless you had a metal butt. You know what, Leo? I take an awful lot of iron in my vitamins. <laughs> so you, so, it might happen. Well, iron is not magnetic, is it? Oh, well, so, it is. No, that's exactly what is magnetic. Oh, okay. Then I should. Ne I will never. Well, you know what? Even if you don't take a lot of vitamins, sitting on a stove is mm, probably not. But you know but what? You know what Einstein said. What did he say? Einstein, what did he say? Einstein said. Uh, a, a minute with a beautiful girl seems like nothing. One minute on the stove, a hot stove seems like forever. That's relativity. Yeah, you see, now that man knew what he was <laughs> He said it just about. like that, too, by the way. Just, he did. Yeah, I know. That's my, did. People yeah. don't know, but uh, I do many impressions, but my impression of Albert Einstein is perfect. Is that a, you, that was Albert Einstein? <laughs> no, that wasn't. That was Dr. Ruth oh, Westheimer. Uh, <laughs> doing Albert Einstein. They're amazingly similar. Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. They're the same. One's just pitched a little <laughs> bit higher. <laughs> With a um, banana? So, so <laughs> I'm sorry. What is the name of this? <laughs> That's okay. Okay, it's the Fagor, F-A-G-O-R, countertop induction burner. 
And they have no imagination because instead of a model, it is the 6700 40610. Yeah, okay, guys, stop using your SKU as a model name. Yeah, uh, it, you know, right. I know you, know, you got the uh, numbers, you already paid for them. Cookware.com, they said, is, is a good website to buy it at. I think that's actually a, a good website to buy cookware at. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it has a digital countdown timer up to two and a half hours, 10 power settings. Do you cook uh, anything yourself besides upside down cake? Uh, occasionally I make French toast. <laughs> <laughs> but well, what's what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, <laughs> and I pioneered the one pot bachelor dinner. Oh yeah? What's in that one because pot? <laughs> I, I like pasta. Yeah. And I like pasta with cheese sauce and vegetables. If you buy frozen broccoli and cheese sauce, oh dear, you can cook it oh in the same pot that the pasta is boiling in. Sure. And when it comes out, all you do is pour the spaghetti in the colander and then pour, cut the bag open. You have a meal fit for company. So in August, do you <laughs> guys stop the company by? is not too picky. Uh, no, I think we'll be passing right through. And so will that one pot bachelor meal. <laughs> oh, it's amazing how little company I have for meals. Yeah. Do you yeah, actually do you, do you buy that? He bought his own food. Do you so. actually do that? Yo, yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Hmm. Don't. I'll never. I'll never complain. Fagor Portable Induction Cooktop. Yes. F A G O R. And at cookware.com. I'll tell you what I will do for you. Yes. I'm going to put this in the show notes with a direct link to, because they have other ones. They have the double induction buffet warmer. Yes, they do. Yes. They have the eco friendly portable induction cooktop. But no, you're talking about the portable induction cooktop. That's not eco friendly, apparently. <laughs> That's the only difference. That's a funny. Is it not listed there? Maybe it's brand new. Yeah, they have both. I'm just telling you, they have oh, both. Oh, okay, so, okay. So oh, there you okay. Yeah. See, there's 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 two of them. The, there's the eco-friendly one. Oh, that's so funny. Are they both the same price? Uh, no, no. Eco-friendly is a hundred dollars less. Oh, that is so funny. So if you hate the environment and you want to spend more money, <laughs> I mean, what could they do? What? what? What can they do on a stovetop that's not eco-friendly? It uses like four extra watts. Maybe, I'm not maybe quite they don't sure. plug it in. I don't know. That is very, very strange. But it's also interesting that to get an induction cooktop down to under hundred bucks, I think it's going to help uh, move that yeah, along. I think this is. I like this. I think this is great. I'd like to get a whole. You can stove. put a dollar bill under the pot. You can put ice really? cubes around the pot. The ice cubes won't melt. The dollar bill won't burn. And the food won't All cook. The Energy goes right into the food. Oh, really? Wait a minute. You're telling me that you could put an ice cube next to the pot. The food yeah. will, in the pot will cook, but the ice cube will not melt? It will not melt. Wow. It will not, yeah. They should invent yeah. a portable socks recovery device. <laughs> These people are geniuses. Yeah, yeah. How do they oh, do I, uh, on Mad Maddest on YouTube, there's a little one-minute thing I shot. Um, with them cooking boiling water with the brochure under the pot and the brochure, nothing happened to the brochure. It, it's, it's amazing. It needs the magnetic pot for any sort of heat to transfer. Consequently, no part of the burner gets hot. Dr. Mom confirms it. She says, I use an induction hot pot and frozen food sits right next to it. Nothing. There you go. Dr. Mom approved. Dr. Mom approved. Hey, before we get to our letter of the day, can I mention our friends at Carbonite.com? I love Carbonite. Yes, Carbonite yes, is yes. the uh, backup solution I recommend and use uh, for mission-critical situations. See, it's fine to have an external drive, and we've done many external drives on the Gizwiz where you just plug it in, you back up. Uh, we've got those one-button drives and all that stuff that MaxStar makes and others, and those are, those are fine. I'm not knocking them. However... Having your backup sit next to your computer is just the first part of backup. You've also got a backup off-site. Why? Well, what if a fire or a flood or a tornado happens? What if somebody breaks in and steals your gear? They're going to steal the backup, too, and you'll have nothing. 
So follow the, th the steps, the three, two, one backup steps. You have to have three copies of everything, the original plus two backups, on two different media, hard drive and perhaps carbonite. I'm proposing carbonite. And the one in three, two, one, one of them has to be off-site, has to be somewhere else. That's what carbonite's so great about. If you go right now to carbonite.com, uh, offer code GIZWIZ, G-I-Z-W-I-Z, you could try it free for 15 days. You don't need a credit card. So what happens? You're going to put it on your system, Mac or PC. Immediately, whenever you're not using the computer or the Internet, it just starts uploading your critical personal files. And, and by the way, every all those personal files on your internal hard drive at one low price, less than 5 bucks a month. First two weeks free, as I said. Now, anytime you need those files, whether it's at the original computer or any other computer that you're online with or even using their iPhone or BlackBerry app, you can download that file and, and make sure it's safe and sound in there. That's the beauty of off-site backup. You never really can lose data. You just can't. And you get your fac files back with just a couple of clicks of the mouse. It's less than 5 bucks a month for all the personal data on your internal drive. I want you to try it free right now for 15 days. Go to Carbonite.com. Use the offer code GIZWIZ, G-I-Z-W-I-Z. Carbonite.com, offer code GIZWIZ. It's a great way to make sure that you never lose any data again. And now, Dick D. Bartolo with a letter. And Steve Miller writes, this is directed at you, Leo. You mentioned you never put your phone in your pocket because you're afraid of damaging it. I have the HTC Tilt. I've had it for over two years. Always have it in my pocket, sometimes with my keys. I used a complete coverage product from Invisible Shield from Zag.com. Oh, yeah. I'm very it's familiar It's a clear with that. covering that never let me down. I put it on my iPod, my gum, and my cameras uh, and never have a problem. It's something you might want to try out. Steve Miller suggests that. You know, I don't like to put... Uh covers on stuff. That's why the iPhone is a problem for me, because it's so pretty. I didn't want to put it in a case. Of course, Steve well, says you have it's to. It's clear, clear, clear. Yeah, but it's still like, you know, it's like those uh, those clear plastic covers on a sofa in, in my grandmother's house. I, I don't want, I want, I want the naked feeling of the phone in my hand. Okay, okay. So I know then I have you some. Shall suffer scratches. <laughs> I don't. And I don't get. I don't. I don't know what he's talking about. I keep it in my pocket. I don't have scratches, but I don't put it in the same pocket as my keys. Oh, okay. Usually and I keep my not? phone. I keep my phone in my breast pocket. Anyway, there's nothing in there but a phone. It's perfect. The phone is just right for a breast pocket. See, that's where you want it. Oh, and it. Wow. And when you say it, it here phone. It, here phone. Here boy. Come on. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, isn't he cute? Yeah, you should do the phone. You should do the phone. Come here, give me a kiss. Hey. This, I think this is something you should be doing off camera. <laughs> <laughs> or not at all. Okay. <laughs> he's a little, oh, look, he's shy. Hello, phone. How are you today? Oh, he was a shy phone. Yeah, I could see that. Wow. This is Watch, really now I'll do it while drinking water. Oh, look at the little phone. It's a little phone. It's a little cute. All right, Dick. Uh, clearly, I've decompensated, and uh, it's time for my meds. So let's do it again tomorrow. What do you say? I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the day. its own gravy. Yeah.